This is the decoherence argument often summed up with the evocative phrase, the brain is just too warm, wet, and noisy to support the delicate quantum phenomena that Orchoir requires. Quantum states, like the superpositions proposed to exist in microtubules, are, well, notoriously fragile. A single stray photon, a thermal vibration, or even a collision with a water molecule can be enough to destroy the quantum coherence, collapsing the superposition into a classical state prematurely and randomly. This process, known as environmental decoherence, is honestly the bane of quantum computing. Critics, most notably the physicist Max Tegmark, have performed calculations suggesting that the decoherence timescale inside a neuron would be astonishingly fast, on the order of femtoseconds or even faster. That's millions of times shorter than the 25 millisecond timescale, or OR, requires for its gravity-induced collapse to correspond with 40 hertz gamma waves. If these calculations are correct, any quantum superposition in a tubulin protein would be destroyed by the chaotic thermal environment of the cell almost instantly.